All right, welcome back to another K&M Riker. So this right here is going to be about the battery tender for my bike. This is me showing how a bad battery can really leave you stranded sometimes. Um, bad battery, first sign on these K&M Rikers. Sometimes, now don't hold me to it, it could be the VSS fault code. If you get that, sometimes you may have a bad battery. So to keep this from happening to me again in the future, I decided to buy a battery tender. And this is the one I picked out. This one right here was on Amazon. It's $20. The reason why I picked it out was because it also had the clips, but it had a battery tender that you can add on pieces that you can leave on the bike, which was key to me looking for a battery tender. I didn't want to have to take the hood off and on to be with the little clamps every time. I wanted to be quick, easy, because if it's not quick and easy for me, um, I'm going to tend not to use it. All right, If it's not quick and easy and convenient, I'm going to tend not to use it. And I'm pretty sure it's like that for most people. So I went with this one on Amazon. Had a lot of good reviews on it, and let me tell you, after two months of using, not only to charge the bike, but to also charge the little 12 volt um, oh deep mer deep battery, mercury battery. It's been working great. Okay, so this is up close. I unscrewed it and screwed it into the battery. Now I went with the Dura Last Gold. This is from AutoZone. You go with whichever one you want to go with. They got a lot of batteries out there for these, these k and markets. This is what I went with. I wanted something I can go quick into the parts doing grab so this is one i went with so here we go so you take the hood off the bike now when i take my hood off and all sometimes i line up the four connections great sometimes it don't that's another reason why i want a battery tender i can leave on so i went in here took it off i plugged the left up with the left the right with the right better known as red and black and then i traced it and i went behind here i took the cord i ran it behind here and i came out through the through the side of the wheel. All right. The reason why I did that is because I was trying to put the tender so I wouldn't have to actually take the hood off and on. So that's what happens. I went around. I came back there. Now, once I did that, I zip tied everything out of the way, make sure it wasn't touching any hoses, and then I put the hood back on. All right. Now, once I put the hood on, came down here, plugged the tender up, and that's that. So basically, you plug it up right here. Then you take the battery charger. And then you just plug it into a stencher cord. Done deal. So whenever I need to charge it, I just come out, have my stencher cord already there. I plug my battery charger to my stencher cord, and I just plug it up. Come out the side with the battery tender that's connected to my bike, and I just plug it up. I'm pretty sure people up north know about these great because it's cold weather. You guys just might have to do these two vehicles to keep good batteries during the wintertime. So that's that. Um, and it has a little cap to go on so you won't get dust, water, dirt in it. I put a little zip tie and a twist tie on so I can have the ability to tighten it up and make sure it doesn't come off. So it's been a long time coming. I got the uh, gas cap for the K&M Riker. How many of you out there actually have it? Drop a comment at the bottom. Let me know if you have it or if you do not have it. Or if you plan on getting it, if you didn't know, just let me know. Uh, but I ran across it. I did get it. Less than twenty dollars, you really can't go wrong with that, especially if it actually does the job. Because we all know this up here, you just pull back, boom, there's a gas cap. Uh, reasons that you get gas caps, you know, people that don't have one, people that just want to sabotage you, you know, peace of mind, safety, more or less. Let's see how it works. Let's see, it goes in here. All right, so it goes in pretty much shaped already. It goes in, return to lock, pull the key. Well, key's not that. All right, pull the key up. All right, so hopefully that doesn't get stuck or he lose this. One day you may have to get this hole drilled out. But um, for the most part, that's that. That's, uh, that's sound. Right. I definitely want to lose the key and stuck in the gas somewhere one day. But that's that. We go back this way. It comes straight out. So easy peasy. It goes in, locks, doesn't come up, left, back out. Looks like it's more or less just this little push right here that the pressure is pushing out. The pressure out, I guess, a little bit. But, uh, yeah, right there. See his flesh in? Key makes it push out. Simple design, but gets the job done. Cheap, affordable price, less than 20. Go ahead and get you one. Let me know. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Subscribe now. Catch you on the next video.